starting lineup tonight. Head inside to John and Brian, guys. Thanks so much, fellas. Underway, third exhibition game of the preseason for the Ducks. They're second in as many nights. That second line for this evening is out there, centered by Sam Steele, Alexander Volkov out there with him. And loose puck picked up by Jacob Perot. We talked about him at the top of the show, and he gets that shot away that Brian was talking about. A blocker saved by James Reimer. Coming over this season after spending time with three different NHL teams a season ago. He's got it again, gets it away quickly. And a pad save made by Reimer, the 12-year veteran. So the game's first power play belongs to the Sharks, and they struggled on the power play a season ago. And the third worst unit in the league, and the Ducks shorthanded two-on-one as Robinson sends it over, and they score shorthanded. Bo Groove, so right on cue, the problems for the San Jose power play are on display, and Anaheim has a 1-0 lead. The goaltender, Reimer, it's Gibson that flips it around the glass, catches the Shark defenseman pinching, and away goes Robinson, and he zips that pass, and that's what's important. You know, he puts a little bit of zip on this pass, and as a result, the goaltender's caught out of position. Great to see him get on the board. That will do wonders for his confidence, but, you know, his last assignment against these San Jose Sharks, he went up head-to-head -head against Tomas Hurdle. Found some offense, too. Well, 29 points, again, playing against the opposition's best. Gibson save came off his stick right to Gambrell, but his backhand are missing the mark with the big club last season. Spent some time on the taxi squad. But ended up playing 24 games with the Gulls in San Diego. Shattenkirk's pass deflects back to Hampus Lindholm, who measures things and skates through the neutral zone. Pulls in off the right boards and hit the post. Whoa, what a beautiful rush by Hampus Lindholm. And he rings it off the plumbing. Troy Terry, the open man in the middle of the ice, and he's off to the races into the San Jose zone. Drops it off for Getzloff. A lot of room in four on four. Back in front, he's got a point blank. The save made there. As Getzloff with a nice setup. To kind of play a little bit more conservatively and hang back. But the veteran defenseman has looked good. Yeah, the offensive instincts have never really been in question for him. Nice pad saved by Gibson. And the rebound of the far post is finally finished. As Ryan Merkley comes in and cleans it up. A couple of chances before San Jose was able to tie the game. Boy, John Gibson makes a brilliant stop on the initial rebound. The front of the goal crease to clear the puck out of harm's way. Ducks are in good position right here, but you can see everybody kind of leaves the front of the net alone. And the puck ends up in behind John Gibson, but this was a great stop on the rebound bid right on the doorstep by Gambrell. But unfortunately for the Ducks, it just kind of sat there and Merkley able to come up with it. DL trying to stop and start, got it to the net. Gibson makes a save and makes a better save. Here's that last stop by John Gibson, kind of a broken play. That puck lays right in front of him. Gibson pokes it right back out in front of the net. Vial with a short rebound chance. He still finished sixth in the league in shutouts last year, and they all came early. As you recall, they were all one to nothing. Here's Troy Terry on the doorstep, and Reiner stays with him after Getzloff set him up. Moments ago, and here's that play by Troy Terry. Through the legs, goes to the back end, but see how deep Reimer is? John Gibson and Dallas Aikens both hoping they can get possession right off the hop, which they do. The 17-year veteran Ryan Getzloff wins the draw to begin the period. You know, I guess the thoughts that could be back in, a, in the back of a player's mind after something like that. He makes a great pass, and then Getzloff makes one more to Volkov. And Reimer came out to get a little piece of the right pad on that. The face-off dot. You've got a good shooting angle. Here was that opportunity. It was somewhat of a down year for San Jose. He only had 49 points, but last year... Just 12 goals, 31 points. He only missed two games. And here's Fiel with a redirect, giving the Sharks their first lead of the evening. Fiel's been impressive in this game. He's been noticeable. That's for certain. He's been mixing it up. It's a nice pass by Raska, who just rifles it over there. Yep. And it's just a simple little redirect. Cody Curran can't quite get across to Raska. And you can see that Biel got away from Sam Kerr. No icing. San Jose leads for the first time. 2-1. They turn it over and right on the doorstep. A chance for Carrick turned away by Reimer. So the Sharks are familiar with him. Here's Eklund out of the corner. 
As the 18-year-old gets a look on the power play, Merkley slides it across, and LeBanks one-timer handled by Stolarz moving to his right. He's got to look through the traffic. Watch the head of the goaltender Stolarz. He's trying to find this puck, find the scene. Then he recognizes the pass. He knows where the shot's coming. The lot to the bench in a hurry. Milano over the boards in his place, and he'll steal the puck. Sonny Milano comes in off right wing, and Reimer got a piece. Good shift here for Anaheim. Middle of the zone, Benoit makes a nice pass. Perot snaps a shot, and it's deflected and smothered by Reimer as Patteron, the defenseman, all the way down low on the doorstep. Yeah, that's a long shift for Sonny Milano at the end by Jacob Perot, who spots Greg Patteron, who's just kind of cool. Uh, Jacob Perot has impressed me, and the best player on the ice, in my mind, for the Ducks has been Milano in this game. He's been creative with the puck. The process is going to show them a lot about a lot of their young players. Patterson has it poked off his stick as he came right down Main Street there between the circles. Now it's a two-on-one the other way, and Merkley's shot is turned away by Stolarz. Oh, boy, he looked calm. Green. Here was the play where Patterson came right down Main Street, could not pull the trigger, and away go the Sharks on a two-on-one, and Murphy's got the puck, and boy, Anthony Stolar just rock. Doing the hitting, and now he's turned back in the neutral zone by Alexander Volkov, and Terry steals it from him. Here's Troy Terry busting it off left wing. Use the defenseman as a shield, and a good save by Reimer, who puts it out of play. That man's and patterns pass picked off by Matt Nieto. Nieto in on right wing, puts it into the middle. Shellman drops it back. Shemlevsky's shot is held by Stolarz, who took a peek over his right shoulder, but he's got it under his arm. If you want it to be, there's a little hole between the elbow and the body. And so you can see Stolarz kind of squeeze that. Kinyajev got his shot knuckling through. Stolarz had to wait to make the save, and now Kinyajev can't hold it at the line, and Terry pressing the issue, and comes up with it. Oh, wow, as he fell to one knee, and he nearly was able to beat Reimer. For him to beat people, he, he has to use those hands in his favor. <laughs> those quick hands almost shovels it through the five hole. Boy, Reimer goes fishing here with that extended poke check of his. And when, as a goaltender, if you don't get the puck. Yaja drops it back. And well, there's Eklund. Wheeling with it into the Anaheim zone. Over to Meyer, back to Eklund. Turned away by Stolarz. He got in close. Delayed penalty coming up to San Jose. Yeah, that Here's was the opportunity is he got the puck back right on the doorstep, but again, Stolarz got down early. And, uh, you actually asked him today, John, just to confirm he prefers to do all both. Yeah, he said he likes to go with both as forever. So his dad is Benoit, who the coach that you referenced earlier. And here's LeBanc through a screen, making it 3-1 to one on the power play. Both teams have had three power plays tonight, and the Sharks are the first to score with the extra man, giving him a little breathing room with 4.20 to go. In a good shooting angle, and the favorite target for a right-hander when he has time is up and over the glove. And that's exactly the target that LeBanc hits. Inside the dot, good shooting angle. You can see the screen by Timo Meyer there also made life really difficult for the goaltender. Still carrying into the San Jose zone is passed back to Getzloff, right point, throws it to the net. Robinson tried to redirect it. Reimer made the first save, thought it came back to him. He did not have it covered. It ended up behind his net. And the Sharks will clear it away and leave Honda Center tonight with a 3-1 win.